Bail-ins are the new strategy to be used all around the world upon the next collapse. When we are in a crash scenario, no longer will the bailouts be enough. They need to use bail-ins and negative interest rates in order to steal wealth from the people. See, the bailouts were very unpopular, and now they're going with this new strategy that would be far more successful. And this will undoubtedly bring much pain to the population. Now, you may think, my country is safe, my country is okay, we're not like Cyprus. Well, just to give some very quick background, you had Cyprus, who basically was a country that uh, suffered some turmoil, and then when the government decided to call a bank holiday, when they reopened, of course, their money had been stolen from their accounts, and they were only able to take out small portions at a time while the economy began to stabilize once again. So this is a model going to be used all around the world. And right here I'm showing this article specifically because the EU makes their decisions. Of course, it's not their own government making their own decisions. If you're in Europe, you're not making your own decisions. This is out of Spain here. I'm going to skip forward because uh, this is not in English, obviously. But basically, now they are the next victim for a bank bail-in. And right here, Spain to create a tax on bank deposits. So this is basically a levy, as they call it. But it's no different. It's a tax on depositors. And that is a bail-in. It's a you know sort of a minimal bail-in when compared to Cyprus. But there's no difference. They're taking money from the accounts. That's all that matters. Moody's cuts out look for Canadian bank that's a negative over the bail-in regime. This was something that's been hotly debated back and forth. That's not what they said. They meant something else. But look at this right here. Moody's has actually downgraded them because they're worried about the bail-ins as well. They're worried. I'm worried. And what concerns me is that people do not understand what a bail-in is. That is your money. Whether you think it's protected by insurance, it is not. They specifically are saying that they will use the assets of the bank and your money is their asset you do not own it as soon as you put it in the bank it is their money you just have access to that that's the only difference but they can lock off that access at any moment eu agrees banks bail in deal the eu did the same thing they said that they will bail in because the bailouts are not good we shouldn't give the taxpayer money we're going to have to use these special funds and they're saying that they're going to make up this money from somewhere they have these special funds just sitting around so i don't know if that was the case why didn't they just use that money to recapitalize themselves in the first place the Unfortunate truth is that they're going to use depositors' money. I'm sure they might start with the uninsured amounts, like, for example, the 100000 or more, but eventually it's going to get to the point where they have to use our money. S&P warns of bail-in dangers for lenders, and this is out of Australia, and they are the same situation where they're facing bail-ins. I talked about this in my interview with SGT Report, basically talking about how Australia is suffering this right now for so-called, you know, those, those accounts that are basically dormant, as they call them. If you didn't use them for a few years, they consider it dormant, and then they, they just take them, and they say, well, if you don't claim them, well, then the money's ours, and that is totally totally fraudulent and that's what's going to happen they start with one scheme and that gives them the precedence to do this over and over again and it's going to come for your money now this is david rockefeller's book memoirs you may have read this quote before but this sums up everything and that is some even believe we're part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the united states characterizing my family and me as internationalists and this is, I have to stop right there and basically suggest that this is excessively accurate. Let me go on. Conspiring with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure. A one world, if you will. If that's the charge, I'm guilty and I'm proud of it. 
And there they are right there. The bankers come out and in our faces and they tell us that they are stealing from us. They tell us that they are using their force against us. And then the media and all the international organizations, they are working with the Rockefellers and with the other big bankers all around the world. And they are working against our best interests. They're admitting it. They're putting it publicly in our faces. The media will not show you this truth, but I certainly will. The whole message I want to get through to today is that you will be wary of your bank accounts. Be rest assured that they are not safe. I hope that you guys will join the others on the insiders. That's basically an extension of the work I've done in my book. And I hope that you'll get on there. It's at themoneygps.com at the bottom. You fill in your email address and you'll get occasional emails from me. Take care.